Hi everyone, thanks for joining Feel Good Fitness. This is Kendall with TC Fit. I'm just hitting play on my timer here. Um, so we're gonna start into a standing position. I don't have any shoes or socks on, completely up to you. You can do this with tennis shoes as well. Um, but we're gonna start with rotational squats. So if you took, uh, what was it, uh, Strictly Strength with me a couple weeks ago, we did this exercise. Uh, so we're gonna start into a nice wide stance, laterally turned out, and go ahead and come down into your squat. Now hold it here. You're gonna twist and rotate into a lunge and then center and then stand it back up. We're gonna do the other side. Down, lunge, center, and stand, good. Keep it going, rotating through our hips. You go as low as what you're comfortable with, but also what feels best for your body. Good. Let's do one more. Now we're going to go back to our first side. Squat it down. Twist and turn into your lunge. Come down into a half kneeling position. Let's get a little tuck under with our pelvis. And then your uh, right arm reaches up and over. So same arm as leg. I may have confused you with which one we're working. So holding this lateral flexion and then go ahead and return back up. Bring yourself back up to your lunge. Center it out. Let's do the other side. Kneeling into your half kneeling. A little tuck under with your pelvis. Little lunge. And then same arm reaches up and over for a lateral flexion. Just breathing into this stretch opening up through your hips. So I'll give you a diagonal view here. So you're gonna feel a nice stretch down through your lats, maybe down through the front of your hip and your quads. And go ahead and release. And tuck your back foot under, back to your lunge, center it out, and then bring it all the way back up, good. All right, uh, sending your right leg straight, hinging it forward, reach your arms up and around, reach your sternum up, big chest opener at the top, other side, reaching your left leg long, hinge up and around, reach your sternum up, good. Other side, so alternating right and left, getting some mobility through your shoulders too, left side. Side view, down, up and around, and reach into your extension. Left leg, up and around, sternum reaches up. Let's do one more each side. Up and around, last one, and reach it up. Good, hold it here, hold, hold, hold. A little squeeze to your shoulder blades. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two, and one, and release. Good. Wide stance, slightly turned out. Nod your chin, we're gonna roll it all the way down. Nice wide stance. Just hold it here. Allow your body to dead hang over your legs. Now keep your right hand down. Left arm reaches up into a spinal rotation. This is a good shoulder mobility too. Set your left hand back down, other side, right arm. Now if you have a yoga block at home, you can use that to help prop yourself up and that's another option too. Set it back down and now roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time as the last to return. Let's roll your shoulders back. We're gonna do it again. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, nod your chin, rounding it forward. Soft bend to your knees. Dead hang over your legs. Get a nice stretch. And now left arm reaches up. 
set it back down. Other side, right arm. Aiming for the ceiling. Head stays in line with your spine. Set it back down. And now roll it back up. Rolling through your spine. Roll your shoulders back. For good measure, let's do it one more time. It feels good. Take a uh, deep inhale. Exhale, rounding it forward. Pause at the bottom. Maybe you can get a little bit deeper into your ham stretch, inner thighs. Left arm reaches up. And set it back down, other side. Reach. And set it down, and now let's roll it back up. Head is the last to return and roll your shoulders back. For your quads, find your balance on your left leg. Now, if you can, reach around, grab your foot, hold it here, and reach your left arm up. If you need to grab a chair around just for balance or anything that you have stable, that's okay. Still holding it here. A couple of options if you're a little bit more flexible. Reach your leg back just a little bit Push your foot into your hand. If this doesn't work for you, go to your first option. Third option, start to hinge it forward a little bit and reach. Balance. It's a good chest opener too. Last three, two, and one. Good. I even struggled with that. <laughs> Find your balance on the other side, okay? Tall posture, grab your foot, and then hold it here. So it's always good to challenge our bodies. If it's something that we're not necessarily good at, it can be frustrating, but try to stick with it. Try it out. Now option two, reach your leg back, push your foot into your hand, hold it here. Doing good. Option three, hinge it forward, reach it long. This is my stronger side for my balance. Knee darts down. Balancing and talking at the same time. Last three, two, and one, good, and release, awesome. Wide stance, let's do some hockey squats. Opening up through our hips, sink it down into your squat, and you're just gonna shift from side to side. So this will be our last standing exercise, and we'll move it down to the ground. Now, if you're a little bit higher, that's okay. If you're able to go a little bit lower, great. And if you wanna kinda challenge it a little bit, Try bringing your hands all the way down to the ground. Kind of like a spider lunge from side to side. So we're gonna stay here for about another 15 seconds. Again, using whatever option that works best for your body. Last three. Two and one, and stand it back up. Good. Let's make our way down to our mat. I'm just gonna adjust the camera real quick. Angle it down. Okay. So all the way down, take a seat onto your mat. Bring your hands back behind your hips like so. Okay, feet are a little bit wider than your hips, and we're gonna do a hip rotation. So. You're gonna allow your knee to drop. So we're getting an internal rotation from our hip socket. And then switch route to the other side. Now your shoulders are gonna stay square with this versus allowing to twist and rotate. And then other side. Now for my personal body, my right leg, super flexible, mobile. My left leg, when I go into internal rotation, I get a little bit more pulling, less flexibility. So that's my physical body. And I think it helps to give you guys an idea of what I'm feeling as well. 
um, and that it's not necessarily loosey-goosey on both sides. <laughs> Just keep shifting from side to side. Good. But again, this is coming from your hip socket, not your knees. You will get a little bit of inchworm forward. Let's do one more each side, and then we're gonna go into a leg pull. Last one. Good. I'm gonna turn to the side. You're gonna place your feet hip distance apart. Your fingertips are facing back, away from your body. Now, from here, you're gonna lift your hips up. Think of a coffee table position. Squeeze your glutes like crazy. If you can, either hold it here or reach your left arm up and let's go into a little rotation. Now, change your eye gaze up to your hand, up toward the ceiling. Set your hand back down. And now set your hips back down, good. Give a little uh, roll through your wrist. Let's do the other side. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips, either holding it here, or if you wanna add challenge, pull up and out of your left shoulder. Reach it here, and eye gaze up toward the ceiling. Set your hand back down, and then hips go back down. Good. We'll do one more each side, kinda roll through the shoulders. It's a lot for your shoulders to take. Okay, one more, squeeze your glutes, lift. Left arm reaches up. And now change your eye gaze up toward the ceiling. Keep your hips high. Set your hand back down. Set your hips back down. Readjust, realign. Lift your hips. Coffee table position. Keep your hips high, reach your right arm up. And now change your eye gaze up toward the ceiling. Set your hand back down and set your hips back down. Good, awesome job. Roll through your wrist. Now a lot of times when we do wristy exercises like this, this is a good one to do. Now place your hand um, right around your wrist, pull, and with your forearm, you're gonna twist and rotate through your forearm. So after doing uh, really compressed exercises like that, that helps to alleviate that compression. Same thing other side. You can stay seated with this, just trying to give you a closer view. Nicely done. Okay, we're gonna go into a little series here. You're gonna tuck your toes under. Think of a child's pose position, but it's more of a puppy pose. So again, toes are tucked under, hinge it back, and just hold it here, reaching long through your spine. Now lengthen your legs, lift it up to a downward facing dog. Holding it here. Now articulating through your spine, you're gonna start through your hips to roll it forward articulate your head as the last to return into your high plank position. Squeeze your glutes, lower your knees, allow your hips to sink. Let's go into extension, draw your shoulders down. Lift your hips back up, keep your back knee down, right foot steps to the outside of your right hand. Little runner's lunge. Reach your right arm up, twist and rotate. Good. Set it back down. Reach your right knee back, left foot to the outside of your left hand. Allow your hips to sink. Left arm reaches up. Set it back down. And connect your knees back together, separate hip distance apart, tuck your toes under, we are back to the top. Sink back to your froggy pose, your child's pose. Lift it up to your downward facing dog, lengthening through your legs. You can pedal through your feet if you want. 
back stays long. Squeeze your glutes. We're lengthening one vertebrae at a time all the way out to our high plank position. Hold it here. Lower your knees down. Lower your hips into extension. Lift your hips back up to neutral. Right foot out to the right side of your hand. Lift your right arm up. So we're gonna start to kind of speed it up a little bit into more fluid. Set it back down. Replace your leg, same thing, other side. And reach your left arm up. Set it back down. Back to the top. And sink it back into your child's pose, toes tucked under. Downward facing dog. Pedal through your feet if you want. Articulate to your high plank, one vertebrae at a time, squeezing your glutes. High plank, hold it here. Lower your knees, sink your hips a little bit into extension, draw your shoulders down. Lift your hips, neutral spine, right foot to the outside of your hand. Reach your right arm up. We're gonna do this one more time. Set it back down, replace, other side. Left arm reaches up and replace. Okay, here we go. Last time, sink it back to a child's pose. Hold it here. Take a deep inhale. And now as you exhale, lift up to your downward facing dog. Pedal through your feet. And let's quiet the feet. Articulate to your high plank. Squeeze your glutes. Lower your knees. Lower your hips down, extend. Lift your hips, runners lunge, right foot to the outside. Reach your right arm up. Set it down, replace other side. And left arm. Set it back down. Awesome job, let's go to a frog pose. Now you're gonna separate your knees Big toes are kind of together here. And then sink your weight back. So we're stretching our inner thighs here. You go to what you're comfortable with. So really opening up our hips. And you can just kind of gently rock it forward and back or just hold it there. Whatever feels good. I kind of like to prop myself up to my forearms. It gives me a little bit more leverage if I need it. And also you can press down through the tops of your feet too, and that'll help to give you a little bit more leverage as well. We'll just stay here for about another 10 seconds. And then we'll do some upper body range of motion. Last three, two, and one, good, press up to your hands. Gently bring your knees back together. And then let's come all the way up to a kneeling position. Now, from here, wide stance with your knees. Bring your arms up. Now, palms of the hands are facing one another. As you circle down, your thumbs are gonna circle down. So thumbs down, so that the palms of the, fans, palms of the hands are facing away from your body little pulses here. So that's what it looks like. Draw your shoulders back. Quiet the pulses. Thumbs reach back up, twisting and rotating through your shoulders and then reaching back up. Let's do this again. Circle downwards, palms, the hands face away, thumbs down. Hold it here, little pulses. So we want to let go of our upper traps. We don't want to recruit that. But think about a little bit more lats and in between your shoulder blades. Quiet the pulses. And now circle the arms back up and around. Good. And again, circle back down, thumbs down. Hold it here and pulse. You're gonna feel, start to feel the shoulders starting to fatigue just a little bit. We're starting to burn. And again, quiet the pulses. 
Reach your arms back up and around, palms of the hands facing in toward the body. Last one. Circling out and around, thumbs down, and let's pulse. So we also feel it deep within our shoulder joint. We're getting internal and external rotation. Last three, two, and one. Good, circle back up and around. Awesome job. Whew. Let's stretch it out for a second, crossing one arm over, cross your left. If um, you wanna come out of a kneeling position, that's okay, you can stand back up. We'll do a little bit more um, head and neck stretches. And then keep your arm across your body. Just gently nod your chin in toward your chest. Mm -hmm. Hold it here. Keep your left shoulder down away from your ear. Bring your head back up. Go ahead and release. Let's do the other side. Cross it over. Again, keep your shoulder down. Hold it here. So this is a nice stretch after that because we did a lot of deltoid work. And now nod your chin in toward your chest. Hold it here. And go ahead and release, good. All right, shake it out. If you came up to a standing position, go ahead and come back down. We're gonna lie down onto our back. And let's do a little um, figure four stretch. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left. Draw your knee in toward your chest and just hold it here. Right foot stays flexed. Deep breathing into this stretch. Relaxing through your shoulders and really think about allowing your body to fall heavy and deep into your mat. Trying to relax your body as much as you can. Close your eyes if you want. And let's unwind. Do the other side. Left over right. Pull the knee in toward your chest. Hold it here. Quiet moment to yourself. Breathing in through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Think of this as your me time. Your me time is not being selfish. It is taking care of yourself. I always have to tell myself that as well. We always get this guilty feeling. And go ahead and release. Pull both knees into your chest. Widen just a little bit and just hold it here. And holding onto your knees, gang, you're just gonna make gentle circles and kind of navigate um, using your arms and circling out and around and back together. circling through your hip sockets. Let's reverse your circle, other direction. And one more. Good, let's stretch our hamstrings. Send your left foot down to the ground, either bent or straight, and then reach your right leg up toward the ceiling and just hold it here. Oh my gosh, you guys, today it is supposed to be 40 degrees. That is gonna feel so good. Nice day to get outside and go for a walk, enjoy the sunlight, get a little refresh. And let's do the other side. Go ahead and switch, holding it here. Breathing into your stretch. And now bend your knee to pull it back in. Gently roll yourself up to a seated position. Last exercise. Crisscross your legs if that feels okay. Otherwise, you can um, bend your knees in front. And then right arm, let's reach it up and over. Best stretch ever. 
holding it here. And then let's do the other side, up and around. And hold. Let's do one more each side. Again, for good measure, go a little bit further if you can. And up and over to the other side. And go ahead and release. Awesome job today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining class. Hopefully you feel a little bit more lengthened, a little bit taller, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.